put it on like heavier. Well, that is the decision I chose. I went that route and that is the route I went down and we are now down that route. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. Okay, today I have a plain face. I have no makeup on because we are going to be putting on a full face of makeup today. And as it turns out, it is a full face of new makeup. New makeup to me, new makeup to like the market. My channel is kind of doing not so super great right now. Uh, I've been getting low views, which I've heard is like YouTube right now. Most beauty channels on YouTube, you know, having low views. And so I'm, I'm trying to, to come up with some ideas and, and do some new things. And other channels that I watch, because I also consume beauty YouTube channels, and they have been doing on their channels like testing new makeup. That's not really something that I do on my channel because especially last year, I had an entire year where I bought no makeup. It's not something that I try to do to just constantly be buying because I personally have a shopaholic problem. But as it turns out, I had a $100 rouge reward. I had a Mother's Day gift card from Ulta. So I have some new makeup. I just, I bought some new makeup. There's been some summer sales going on. I had some, some gift cards. And also this tier tier foundation has been going crazy and it was like 30% off on Amazon and I was like, okay, let's try it out. So I have some new makeup that's new to me, new to the beauty world. And let's try out this video. Let's see if it does well. See if it does, if it doesn't, I bought this makeup anyways. Like I didn't buy it for a video. I bought it because I wanted it. It's a win-win. So I thought it'd be fun to put this makeup on. It's not the first time I've used it. I've tried pretty much all of it, but some of them I got like three shades and I tried one of the shades, but not all of the shades. Let's put on some makeup today and have a good time. Yeah, if that sounds good to you. Subscribe to this channel, yeah? And if you have some ideas, to spruce up my channel and, and some ideas for some videos, drop them in the comments. That sounds fun. We are gonna start with what I said, this tier tier foundation. This has been going crazy. I don't actually have TikTok. I get things on Instagram like two weeks later after they've gone on TikTok, right? <laughs> and even they'll come onto YouTube, the YouTube algorithm. So I see them later once they're on YouTube and, and Instagram. And I've seen this tier tier foundation all over Instagram and YouTube. Anyways, I got it when it was like 30% off. I can't even remember how much this was. Anyways, it was a really hard to find a shade because this one that I got is N 23N Sand. And so a lot of them just had these names. And I was like, I guess N means neutral, but there wasn't like cool tones or warm tones. They all just were like N. And the pictures, they all, all the shades just look like the exact same color. I have to, I have used this foundation a couple of times. It's an okay shade match. It's not the greatest. It's not the worst. It's okay. It's a little light for me right now. And I have a little bit of a summer tan. I have a little bit of a fake tan going on. So it's fine. It's fine. It, it could be worse. Anyways, it is a nice cushion foundation. And... It has a pad in there, which I have used once, but it's not my ideal to use. And it's just a cushion foundation. This foundation is really nice. I have used it a couple of times and people are going raving about this foundation. What I do like about this foundation is that it dries down to that it feels like skin. Like sometimes when I'm wearing a foundation, it'll be very, very moisturizing so that I can still feel it. And I feel like if I rub my finger through it, it will like come off. And that makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel like if I, if I accidentally like rub my face against anything, my foundation will get on that thing, like transfer obviously. And this one, I feel like it dries down. And so it's really nice for that reason. But it can be very full coverage, which is not my ideal foundation. So I try to wear it. I wear it with um, a beauty sponge and I just try to kind of dot it on and try to get it more of a light coverage. And when it goes on there, it just does these little tiny dots. 
this is a very viral foundation. So people will put it on and like just, you know, get a ton of foundation on there and put it on and be like, whoa, look at the coverage. That's not what I'm after. I am after light coverage because I like to wear um, more of a heavy eye look. And so having more of a light coverage foundation is better for my needs. I had some redness on my nose, so let's try to kind of cover that up. And I don't actually have a new concealer, so I feel like I could use this kind of potentially as my concealer today. Put it on like heavier. Well, that is the decision I chose. I went that route, and that is the route I went down, and we are now down that route. So you can go, as you could see, how how much coverage this has versus when I did it just lightly. It can go to a lighter coverage versus a heavier coverage, which I like. I like that you have that option. Okay, so I think it is all blended in, and I think it is a pretty good match for me, which I feel like was really lucky because I <laughs> was having a hard time coming up with a match. What new eyeshadow palette did I get? What do you guys think? What new eyeshadow palette came out recently? Ba -da -da -da! The Golden Palette from Natasha Denona. This palette came out and I was so excited to get it. I contemplated where to get it from because it came out on Natasha Denona's site, also on Sephora. It came out on the Sephora app first, but I didn't have my Sephora Rouge reward yet. And so I didn't, I didn't want to get it from Sephora. I wanted to get it from Ulta because I, I told you I had that Ulta Mother's Day gift card. And so, but it took forever to come to Ulta. I don't know why, but it came to Sephora first and then it came to Natasha Denona and then it came to Ulta a while later. When it finally came to Ulta, I pulled out my gift card. I got, oh my gosh, that is so bright. I got the Natasha Denona Golden Palette with that gift card, everyone, once it came to Ulta. It's a beautiful palette. Did I need this palette? Not really. I, I mean, okay, I like colorful makeup, but if I like a neutral palette, I like it to be more warm toned. I've only used this palette once so far. And I didn't come up with the prettiest look. I, I, I have this habit of forgetting to put on mascara. I don't know why. I, I, I wore this palette and then I forgot to wear mascara and I left the house and went out. And I was like, so it could have not looked as good because I had forgotten to wear mascara, which I feel like was a big, it, it didn't bring it to its fullest, you know, oomph. So we are going to definitely be wearing mascara today. But I just feel like there's a lot of shades that are very similar in this. And I knew that when I was getting it, which is part of the reason why I wanted to wear, get the gift card because I was like, well, this is Mother's Day money. It's girl math. It's free. It wasn't free, <laughs> but you know, I never had the Natasha Denona gold palette. I always wanted it, never got it. And I feel like this could have really benefited from those, you know, teal shades, but you know, I'm not Natasha Denona. Her team probably knows best. So let's see if we can get a pretty gold look. Oh my gosh, it is the most reflective palette I've ever seen. I have reflective palettes, but this one is just taking the cake today. So. I don't think I actually used as many of like the, this actual like Oro shade when I was doing a look before, which is actually funny, but we are going to use that shade today because we have to. And I think I'm going to do a halo eye because I didn't do a halo eye before. So we're, we're going to make it work. Let's start off with a transition shade of sandstone. I'm going to try to use colors that I didn't use before. Also, if you hear fireworks in the background, it's because it is 10 o'clock at night. It's July 8th today and you know you're allowed to do uh fireworks for like is it a week before fourth of july and a week after and people are taking advantage of that i don't understand it i don't under are you one of those people who question i'm i'm asking are you one of those people who who does fireworks before and after fourth of july because we um actually we got onto our roof uh which was difficult 
I'm very afraid of heights, but we got on our roof for 4th of July and watched as many fireworks as we could around our house. And it was so cool. I've always been, we've been living in this house and we've been living in this town. Okay. We've been living in this town for like 10 years and we've been living in this particular house for about four years. And we have been kind of trying to find a really good fireworks spot in this town. And I haven't really done it. I haven't really found a good spot. Uh, whether the town is doesn't throw really good if the town does a rodeo and the fireworks are after the rodeo but like i don't want to go to the rodeo because the rodeo is twenty dollars a person and i'm like that's really expensive so we've been trying to find good fireworks spots i said to my husband i go maybe we should just go up the roof on top of the roof and my kids are older my son is 14 my daughter is 10 so like it's not like i'm bringing little babies up there they're you know big enough to to go up on the roof and they like to help dad when he puts up the the Christmas lights up on the roof it's a fun thing for them to do and anyways so we went up on the roof and we saw all around all of the fireworks and it was so cool on the 4th of July it was the ideal place to to watch fireworks okay we're gonna do a halo look let's do teak right here teak anyways so it was just amazing it really gets dark here at like 10 because of daylight savings and so we saw, it started, we went out there at like 9.30 and we were out there until about 10.30 and just saw so many fireworks. And I was like, people are spending, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars on these fireworks. And it's fun because I get to see other people blow up their money <laughs> because I spend all my money on makeup. It's just what I do. You guys know that, right? You guys see it. That's what this channel is. I may or may not be obsessed with makeup. Um, anyways, so it's fun to watch other people blow up their money because I blow up my money on makeup. <laughs> it is quite a beautiful thing. I love to watch all of the fireworks. It's beautiful. It's quite patriotic and beautiful. And my kids, my, my son goes, this is a, he, he said to me, he goes, this is something I'm going to tell my kids about. And I was just like, oh, it's a core memory for him. Like he just, he was so excited to be on the roof and he just was, they, had a good time, obviously. It was a really good thing for them. It's kind of looking dirty. Anyways, we're gonna keep going though. We're gonna make this work out. It's gonna work out. I just don't want it to get too deep and too dark, so I'm not using that log shade yet, but I might be forced to use it. Anyway, so with as many people as had fireworks all around our town, it was like, how the heck do people still have fireworks? This is the question. How do people still have fireworks? Like, personally, I'm a shopaholic. I get some money in my pocket and I burn it. Or, you know, I blow it. It's gone. I get a gift card and it's gone. <laughs> you know, a sale comes by, that gift card is gone. <laughs> like, it's, it's gone. Um, so how is it that they don't blow all of their fireworks up on 4th of July? How do they save them? Or are they out on the next day buying more? I'm just, it's a whole, it's, I, I don't know. I don't get it. If you have this answer. Please clue me in. I have four sisters and so we weren't really, not that girls don't like fireworks, but we just didn't. <laughs> it's not something that me and my sisters really were into. So it's not something I've ever really loved. I like watching them. I don't like setting them off myself. It's just not, it's never been in my blood. Okay, I'm going into that log and trying to deepen up the outer corner just because I feel like it's a little bit dirty. Just a little bit. How was you guys' 4th of July? Did you guys go anywhere? Did you see some cool fireworks? Did you see a rodeo? Did you see any concerts? There was also on the 5th of July, my town had a, like, a Beach Boys cover band come in. And they all, then they had fireworks that day too on after the Beach Boys cover band. They do a whole bunch of stuff. There was also a parade, which I didn't go to. Okay. I, I talk, haven't talked a lot about on here how I have like anxiety and how I'm an introvert. Um, but I am. And there is in my town, there is a parade and people will set their chairs out for the parade. And like with caution tape, like the week before the parade. And it stresses me out. So I won't go and see the parade because I'm like stressed out about not having a spot for the parade because everybody has their chairs out and I'm like, where would I stay? So anyways, I don't, I don't go to the parade 
because of the chairs. Because the chairs. I don't like that people set their chairs out for the parade. Just go to, just go and stand. Everybody go stand for the parade. I mean, the, I don't know. It's just something that, it's, it's that anxiety in me. And I, and I let it get to me. It was funny because on 4th of July, I said to my husband, I was like, okay, so I had the day off from work, which was silly because I work Wednesday through Saturday. So I had Wednesday, I had to work Wednesday and I didn't have to work Thursday and I had to work Friday and Saturday. So that was fun. Um, it actually wasn't that bad. All of my meetings on Friday were canceled and there was a lot of like a lot of work to do on Friday and Saturday to keep me busy, which was nice. It was nice. I just, a lot of people took that day, those days off. And so I was able to just work and keep busy and nobody bothered me because everybody took those days off and it was just, it wasn't, I'm, it wasn't that bad. Okay. So we're going to go with, let's go with Oro and then I'll do in the very middle, middle Aura. Okay. I think that that is, is the best choice here. Ooh, awesome. Okay. That was a good choice. Anyways, so where was I going with this? Oh, I know what it was. Good. Sometimes I can't come up with it. So I'm so glad I did. I had the day off for 4th of July. So I was telling my husband, I was like, okay, I don't want to just stay inside all day because it's 4th of July. I want to like do something, but I don't want to be around a lot of people. And he was like, you, you're asking a lot. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Anyways, luckily we, our neighbors invited us over for like a little barbecue. And then we went, after that, we went up on our roof and watched fireworks. And then, so it was a good day. We didn't actually leave the house that much, just except for the barbecue. So it, it we went out, we went out of the house and we weren't around a ton of people. So it worked out. And I got to get to know the new neighbors and whatnot. So it was good. It was a good day. Anxiety, am I right? Okay, what do we think about this look? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm gonna take it off. Took a, off both eyes and I came up with a new look. Okay, why is this palette been so frustrating for me? I, I don't know what it is. This has been my first Natasha Denona palette that is really challenging me. I'm glad I got it for Girl Math free because I don't think I would repurchase this. This has been so, I think that a, a natural, like a person that wears nude looks all the time is probably like, Bianca, you're ridiculous. This is the easiest palette in the world. And I think that I'm just being challenged because out of every like five looks, one of them is, is a natural nude look. And so that's why I'm being challenged. Okay. So I did one eye because I, I'm not even going to try it. I, I was like, I have to do it one eye off the camera because it was, I, I was just having such a hard time, having a hard time. Okay. So we went with a different shade. We went with Aria this time. We are just really going to go, going to get a look this time. Sometimes I feel like my halo looks, they, I've talked about this in other videos that like, if I can, my halo looks, if I get a good one, it is like my prettiest look. But when it's a bad one, it is a bad one. And that one wasn't terrible. It was just... Mm. And, like, if it, if I were just, you know, going to work or something, I would have worn it and been like, meh, who cares? But it was on my channel. I want it to look good. Do you, does that make sense? Okay. I think I liked Aria better than I liked Sandstone. It just has more of a, a rosy tone to it. And so I feel like it just goes with my natural cool undertone better than sandstone did so now i took this varus color right here which is a shimmer and i normally don't do shimmers in the outer corner so i guess i was taking another risk here but my thought was i wanted a dark in the outer corner but i didn't want to go with log because log and teak looked dirty to, like they looked like dirt so i was like okay we're not going with log and teak i had a bad time <laughs> with them so we're going with something else and I think that Varus looked really nice. So here we go. I'm making it work. And it's not like a super shimmery where it's, I feel like it's a, a more toned down shimmer. So it totally can work in the outer corner personally. Like a very high shine sparkly outer, uh, 
shimmer in the outer corner. I'd be, I don't think that personally is my kind of makeup look. Not, I mean, it might work, but like if you're going all over with a shimmer, yeah. But anyways, I'm just saying a lot of things right now. <laughs> what, what, what? I'm all thrown off now. Whenever an eye look doesn't work, it throws me off. I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to clean that up. Okay, so then I took Nubia right here in the inner corner. Or no, excuse me, the middle. In the middle of the eye. And I didn't use any shimmer stay. Any glimmer. What am I trying to say? It's fine. I'm fine. Glitter glue. I didn't use any glitter glue this time. I just want it to be simple. Okay, then I used this Aura. Again, so I did try to use Aura. And I think that that was a good choice. Because I thought, I think it looks really nice in that inner corner. Is this a more simple look? Yes. But I think that was my problem. I think that this is a very simple, beautiful, like, organic, golden, golden goddess palette. And you're supposed to just have a very simple organic golden goddess look and I am trying to go over the top and I'm trying to unsimplify it and that is my problem. I need to stop overdoing it. Come on Bianca, stop overdoing it. I don't know how. Okay, so this still has some of that foundation on it from, well I'd say from before but it's actually from when I just cleaned up the look. <laughs> from before. That looks better. Okay. It's a very simple, beautiful look. Let's move on, please. Okay. Let's go to bronzer. So from Ulta, I picked up some of these NYX. Okay. So only this is a bronzer. These two are blush, but these have gone viral on TikTok, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I'm not on TikTok, but all over YouTube too as well. So this is the buttermelt bronzer. This is the buttermelt blushes. Okay. These are very pigmented. I didn't know that when I was getting these, I usually try to get a bronzer in medium because I like for my bronzer to uh, pack a punch and then I blend it out. I do not like to build up my bronzer because I'm lazy. It's medium, but a biscuit. And that was probably probably too dark. Uh, it, it's a little, it's a little deep. Also, when I had the ship to me, it was shattered. It was, I, and Ulta sent me a new one. I just, the way Ulta packages things, they don't really, they just throw it in a box and send it to you. And you're like, Oh, that was shattered. Interesting. But these two came to me and were not shattered. So, and I think there was a sale on these where it was buy two, get one free. So I bought two and I got one free. Anyways, and these two are also very pigmented. And of course I was going to get the purple one because I love purple blush. And so this one is in the shade All the Butter. They all have a Butter name. And is also obviously very purple. <laughs> I just love it. It's so pretty. Um, and I was trying to get a more neutral shade. A lot of my blushes are like this. A lot of my blushes are very wild and pigmented. And I don't have a lot of muted blushes. And so I was like, let's get a more of a muted tone. So this one seemed more muted and, n but not too light. Well, little did I know that these were super pigmented. And so this one, if I, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go for my normal, like kind of berry blushes because then I would have just had crazy. So this one was supposed to be muted and it's, it's not, it's, it's not at all. I, I, I didn't try them on in store. So I, I, was looking at other content creators and they tried them on in store in the lightest shade, which I would have thought would have been like too kind of um, cool tone pastel was like what I'm talking about. It's muted. And I'm like, dang it. I have those for uh, bronzer and blush. I also have this new Dior blush. So these Dior blushes are not new, but this is one of the new shades. So I heard from Morgan Turner makeup that this she got all of the new shades of the Dior blushes and she was raving about this shade This is the shade Bronzed glow and she was like this is out of all of the shades if you want any of the shades get this one and I was like Okay, you know, I have the the cool tune pink one and it's okay It is not worth $40 though. Let's just say that so I was like 
guess who has a, you know, a gift card? This lady. I do. So, you know, let's see if we can get this, this, this blush with a gift card and, and make it not $40. Well, to me, it's more of a, a bronzer. She was saying that it's nice because it's like a, a bronzy blush. It is red toned. I would say it's red toned, but it is definitely bronzy. It's a bronzy, bronzy blush. So I would wear this like if I were trying to like not wear blush and I was like going for a bronzy, a bron bronzy blush kind of day. Anyways, I have used it a couple of times. If you can, see, now you can't see it all, but the Dior's are faded a little bit. Anyways, you'll see that I have a lot of blushes. What are we actually going to wear today? I don't know. We'll see. Then I got this Kosas because I had been hearing about these, that these are being raved about. And, and I had actually before, while I was on my no buy last year, these were leaked and I was like, oh no, oh no. If these come out during my no buy, I'm going to really want them. How am I going to get them during my no buy? Well, they came out this year. <laughs> Like they came out like, you know, mid 2024. I don't know what happened. I maybe Co says to had to perfect the formula and accidentally leak them and then was like, never mind, we're not, we're not done with them yet. Anyways, a lot of shades have been released. I went into a Sephora at some point. I think I, oh, I know why. Because I was sending in, I did my empties video and I talked about how I was going to take in my empties to a Sephora and I did. I took in my empties and I was able to scan the code and I was able to get, I think it was a hundred points on my app for taking in my empties to a Sephora. While I was there, I did some swatching and I swatched these blushes and I got the shade Adrenaline in this because it just looked like the prettiest shade for me because I always go for kind of the most amped up colors because that's me. Does it look the best with my skin tone? Probably not, but it's just what I do. Okay, then more blushes. Do I need more blushes? No, I don't. Gift Beauty was having 50% off the website. And this has happened before. Like I believe a couple of months ago, Gift Beauty was having 50% off the, her entire website. And I got a blush, bronzer, and highlight during that sale. So anyways, another 50% off the Gift Beauty website was happening. And I was like, well, you don't have to t talk me into it. So these dewy, plump collagen cheek tints came out and yeah, I got three of them. Okay, I may or may not have been trying to get to that free shipping threshold, which is a terrible thing. I, I spend more to get free shipping when if I just spent less, I, I would be spending less. I wouldn't be getting free shipping. I'd be spending, I don't know, anywhere from five to $10 in shipping, but then I end up spending $50, so it's free shipping. I get more product, but do I need more product? No. Why do I do this? It, it's sickness. Shopaholicness. Anyways, so I got three of them, plus I got a mascara. I don't really want to use that right now. It's that new on the market right now, and I don't want to open it yet. So anyways, whatever. We're not using that right now. I got the shades Bouquet, Marigolds, and Hibiscus. So I got three shades. That's it for blush. Can you believe it? Patrick Ta. Patrick Ta. Oh my gosh, that was so dirty. Patrick Ta came out with these highlighters. I got this with my Rouge Reward. Then it came completely shattered. If you can see, I did squish it back together. I have not been having the greatest luck with things being completely shattered. I've actually heard that these are very fragile and a lot of people have had them come shattered. But then I've actually also seen content creators get them and they're, they're perfect, pristine. And I'm like... Why was mine shattered? Meh. Anyways, shattered. So I pushed it back together and I talked to Sephora and they were like, we can give you a refund. And I was like, how? I used a Rouge Reward. How can you give me a refund? And they were like, uh, because this one, I got the shade Sugar. They were like, this one sold out. And it was so funny because there were five shades and this was the only one at the time because actually the pink one has been sold out. But at the time that I needed to talk to the Sephora employee, sugar was sold out. And she's like, well, I can give you a refund. And I was like, I don't want a refund. I just want, you know, one of these that is not broken. I was like, fine, can you give me a different shade? Because that one's the only one that is, you know, sold out. I was like, give me a different shade then. I just, I just want, th 
this, I, I wanted to put it potentially in a video or I just wanted it because it's new on the scene and I just wanted it, right? And they were like, no, we can't, you know, our, our system won't allow us. This is the one you bought. It, you know, it sold out, so we have to issue a refund. So I did kind of get this for free, but I wanted, I didn't want it for free. I wanted a pristine one. Anyways, we can, we can wear it today. It's just, I feel like they're never the same because you have to like mush it back together with like isopropyl alcohol and it just, it's never the same as it would have been without all that. Okay, what else do I have on here? Because we're going to put it all on my face. Not all of it. I can't put that much blush on my face. Then for lips, House Labs had 20% off of their site, which I feel like Give had 50% off and House Labs only had 20% off. Like, come on, Lady Gaga, compete with Gwen. Let's do 50% off. <laughs> 20% off for, for House Labs is really good because House Labs doesn't have as many sales as Give does. Anyway, so I got this... What is this? This is the PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze in the shade Persimmon, so we can wear that. And then, also another thing from Ulta, these CoverGirl uh, Outlast Lip Stains. I got two of these. So, we can come up with, we can probably do those today. All right, so we're gonna start with liquid blush. And I think this is my only liquid blush, which is interesting, because I feel like I usually prefer liquid blush. Just kinda mix and match here. So we have hibiscus. I'm gonna do one dot of hibiscus on each side. That one's a little lighter. I have used one of these shades already. And this is not like the Rare Beauty where it's like, you know, one dot goes a long way. This is the opposite of Rare Beauty where one dot go fades away to nothing. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> so, which, you know, is some people's preference. Some people love a very soft blush. That's not me. I probably should. Actually, let's use the third blush. This one was bouquet to just get some more coverage there. Yay. This is a fantastic blush for someone who likes a more natural makeup look. And they were $13 because normally they're 26 and I got them for 13. Did I buy three of them so I could get free shipping? Yeah, I did. And look at that. That is such a natural blush look. Am I going to go ruin it because I'm going to add more blush? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. am. Well, let's add some more blush. Cool. All right, let's do Kosas. On, let's do Kosas on one side and let's see how similar in color they are. Yeah, they're actually similar to color which was not my I didn't anticipate that or do that on purpose okay so let's see we have this was adrenaline and then we have this one which is for the butter <laughs> really it's not what I meant to do okay so for the butter has a little bit more rose to it. This one has a little more orange, but still they're pretty darn freaking similar. Okay. Kosa's on this side. Pigmented. There is a little bit of a shimmer to it, but not a lot. I may have gone a little hard. Okay. Yes, you did, Bianca. You went a little hard. Okay. Now I'm going to take my color switch and just take off some of that blush. I mean, they're basically the same color anyways. Then we're gonna go with this one. They're the same color. <laughs> and they're both super pigmented. So, lesson to be learned. These are $10. These are over 30. I can't, 34 maybe? And they're both have several colors. I just so happen to accidentally get basically the same colors. I look sunburned, which actually is a look right now. Sunburn, I was actually out in the sun today with sunblock. Um, so it might, it looks like it now. It looks like I was out in the sun. <laughs> Word to the wise, you don't need to spend that much money on the Kosas because the NYX will do it for you. Now let's do some bronzer. I have this Dior one, which is technically a blush, but is also kind of a bronzer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to layer 
We're going to have a lot of cheek product on today. Okay, I'm going to be putting that, yeah, in the that pocket right there. And then put this one in this pocket. Perfect, great. Now, I'm gonna take the NYX one with a more fluffy brush, try to blend it out. They're very dark. They are dark, they're buildable. Okay, I really should put my hair up, but I like it to be down in my videos, but it gets everywhere. <laughs> Stupid hair. I just have so much of it. It's so thick. I am going to take my concealer ridden, or what was it, foundation ridden thingy and just try to hopefully make myself not look so, so sunburned. That helped. Honestly, that helped. Patrick Ta. Okay, how he does it is the opposite of what your brain would think. Your brain would think, liquid on bottom, powder on top. But that's not what is supposed to happen. It is powder on bottom, then the cream on top. And I actually, cause I had heard that the cream was extra dewy because these had been delivered in the summertime that a lot of people's were coming just goo and melted. I, right when I got this, I threw it in the, in the refrigerator. And my husband was like, is makeup supposed to be in the fridge? And I go, yes. Little had I known, because it was in the box, that it was shattered. And I was like, oh, I took really good care of it. And then it was shattered. <laughs> okay, so I think that this shade Sugar is really very pretty. It has these, like, beautiful, almost iridescent, iridescent, but yeah, champagne, but also iridescent sh shimmers. Even though I also think that it will never be the same because I had to crush it back together. It still is a pretty highlighter. And I'm contemplating getting another one. But I'm also like, no, Bianca, you have this one and it works good enough. And people have actually not really been liking this formula. <sighs> what do you guys think? Should I get another one? I'm contemplating getting like the pink one or the white one. But maybe actually going in store to get it because then it won't arrive broken. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of shine. Then you take the cream, and I am going to use my finger for the cream. And you just kind of gloss it over where the powder was. And because I feel like because I put this in the fridge, because it was delivered at like, I don't know, 2 p.m. And it was low 90s outside. So it was, it, it was probably pretty, pretty goopy. I think maybe I probably shouldn't get another one because I don't think this is really my type of highlighter. I have said in the past that I like a highlighter that, you know, stands out from space. And that's not what this is. This is a very natural highlighter. I'm tempted to even put some more. This is not what you're supposed to do, but it's what I'm doing because I have a problem and I like to have more shine. I'm putting more of the powder over it. Eh, that's not that bad. Okay, cool. I think we can do a bright lip. We have, yes, we have a lot of blush and face stuff on, but I have a pretty neutral eye look. So I think we can do a bold lip. I think we can. Woohoo! So, if you want, and if you have more skill than I do, you could probably just wear this as a lip liner. I would have probably needed to, to point it. That's not what I did though. So this is not really that new of a, a pen. Rem Beauty had something like this. I actually have them. See, Rem Beauty. This is in the shade Booked and bu Busy. And they're just like the same. This is not a new formula, a new thing. 
it's new for cover girl uh let's see not too bad a little bit of a transfer but not really that much at all now I can do, I think that a stain is really nice when you want to do a gloss on top, because if you do a gloss on top of a lipstick, then now you just have transfer and it's going to get everywhere. But if you do a gloss on top of a stain, that's not going to happen, hopefully. Pretty. Okay, I'm going to do mascara and eyebrows and I'll be right back. The look is done. I put on Mascara. I actually even put a little bit of teal mascara at the bottom because I kid. I was wearing a teal shirt. Everyone with this is kind of mint, but anyways, I thought it would be fun. And I put on my eyebrows. So have, have you guys purchased any of these yourselves? I have some thoughts. I do like the Tear Tear Foundation. I think that it's going crazy on the internet right now, and I don't think that... I mean, there's a lot of foundations out there. I don't know why this one is going so crazy. I think it's a good foundation. I think that they, like people are like, look at this coverage, and they'll go whoosh. But that's what they did with the KVD Good Apple Foundation. It does the same thing as that one. I mean, maybe it has more staying power than the Good Apple Foundation. Um, and I feel like it can be sheared out better than the Good Apple. Like, I can still see my freckle, whereas the Good Apple Foundation was harder to shear out. Uh, I did have that foundation as well. Um, I do have that foundation. I do like it better than that one. Anyways, I, I think it's a good foundation. As for the blushes, the house lab ones are not really to my type they have they they're too sheer but i i know that that is some people's type so i think that that is good that they are sheer because people like that i don't feel like they specified that though like i feel like when it was talking about them especially on the website it just it says dewy plump so you you're anticipating that they're dewy but like even the rare beauty ones she has ones that are matte she has ones that are dewy so there are dewy ones but they have they can pack a pigment punch that was a lot of peas anyways i don't feel like maybe it's because it says collagen so you can are anticipating that it's also like that skincare with the makeup and so that it's not going to be as like pigmented I don't know I feel like I was not anticipating that these were going to be so sheer and I wouldn't have I wouldn't have gotten three of them it's fine as you can see I was able to layer up my my blush and still get a good blush look or a you know a big blush look a lot of blush with uh, with them these buttermelt things these are awesome. These are awesome. These are worth your $10. And I like how many shades they have. They have, you know, um, purple. They have pink. They have orangey shades. There's a, like a rainbow of shades here. The problem with them is that they are a little bit too pigmented. I feel, I just feel like, okay, a lot of us are buying online nowadays. It's not because we have to. It's not like we are not allowed to leave our homes. We just don't want to leave our homes, or I don't. Personally, I am buying way more online than I am in store. I'm rarely going in store and, and swatching nowadays. Whereas, you know, before uh, 2020, we were going out. We were, we, I didn't work from home. I had to go into work five days a week. And so I was out and about. I was I was living my life outside and I was going to the stores and I was running errands. I feel like because we're all shopping from home a lot more, there they should be more specific in the descriptions. And they should say, this is a very pigmented formula. Maybe go down, like don't get as dark as you think you should. Like go down a, a shade. Don't like, or with this one, this one is less pigmented. Maybe go up a shade. I, I don't know. I just feel like they should be telling you because not all of us are going into stores and, and swatching these things out. I think this is nice. I knew kind of what I was getting into. Morgan Turner did say that it was a very bronzy blush, you know, and I'd seen pictures of it. I guess I just still thought it was more of a blush than a blonde bronzer. It's still really pretty. I think it is pretty and I can use it as a bronzer. And so I think it, it I think it's pretty. And the thing about these is that they are long lasting. They kind of stain a little bit. And so if you're gonna pay the $40 for these, they better be doing something special more than just blush. They better do something. They can't make eggs for me in the morning, but they can have lasting power. Anyways, um, I do really like this from House Labs. I actually, this is my second color of these. I bought 
Well, let me show you. I bought this one. Ooh, you can actually see I have a little dent in it. <gasps> I've been using it a lot. I bought this color cocoa during the Sephora VIB sale and I've been using it a ton. It's just been sitting on my desk that I, you know, work from home from. So I like it because it's supposedly, um, it's a plumping, it's a hybrid plumping gloss. It's supposed to plump your lips over time. It doesn't have any of those like hot chili or the peppers or the mint in, in it. So it's supposed to plump your lips right away. It's supposed to, if you use it over time, make your lips plumper. I don't actually know if it's been doing that because actually you can see there is a dent in it. I have been using this for, what was that? March? And it's now July. So I have been using this for a while. Would I say my lips are plumper? No. Would I? But the thing I like about this is that it's a really pretty color. And this one too, they're pretty colors, which is why I got another color in it. But they also feel like they moisturize my lips. So I like that because it's like a hybrid. It says it's a hybrid. But I wouldn't say it's a hybrid for the reason they say that it's like a, it's a gloss and a plumper. I would say it's a hybrid because it's a gloss and like a lip balm. So I like them. I think they're beautiful. These are pretty. I like them. I like a lip stain. I actually I had these from Rem and I felt like, as I said, these are nothing new because Rem had these, but Rem's were like the, they, you can see that they were kind of patchy and these are older, but even when I still got them, they were kind of patchy. They didn't have as much like color in them. And I was like, are, are you supposed to have more in you? And so I like these better. These seem to have more pigment in them, more color, more juice. And so I like them better. And they're only $10. I think when I got it, it was buy one, get one half off. Boy, do I like a good sale. Then we have this from Patrita. I guess I, it's hard for me to have an opinion because I was able to get my refund for this. I wouldn't have asked for a refund though. I would, if, if it weren't shattered, I would have kept it. I do like Patrick Ta as a brand. I think it's a very pretty highlight. Uh, it's a it's a more natural highlight and I actually built it up to more than it should be. So to it's less natural now than it would have been if I didn't add that extra layer on top. So I wouldn't have asked for a refund. And I like it, I think it's pretty. I'm actually still contemplating getting another shade. Although from what I've heard from other creators that I, cause I watch beauty YouTube, the shades are very similar. Like the, the pink one and this, this sugar one are like identical. Like they don't look that in the casing, but once you swatch them out, they're identical. So if I would get another shade, I would think of getting the white one. Cause I hear that one is more glimmery. Anyways, I don't think I need another shade. I just am a shopaholic. Last but not least, I'm looking at my pile here. Yes. Last but not least this palette. It is definitely not one of my favorite. Goodness, it's shiny. It's not one of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes. I've actually had some troubles with this palette. I've done three looks, and this one I would say is my favorite out of all three. You guys didn't see the first one. It was on a random day that I was going about my life. I've struggled with this palette, which is funny because it's all just browns and golds. How could you struggle with a brown and gold palette? Exactly. Exactly. I'm obviously going to keep it. I'm going to keep using it. It's just, it's not my favorite Natasha Denona. I feel like Natasha Denona has done better and could do better. And I feel like she didn't like she, she could have, and she didn't. Why didn't you add the teals on this one? Natasha, come on. All right. Well, if you like the video, like this video, if you want to see more from me, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my videos, click that bell. Most importantly, be nice to yourself because you are amazing. Have a great day. Bye.